Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me today. I'm gonna do a little quick video. I'm in the process of uh, patching over a name and I'm getting ready to create another patch. And so I just thought this would be a good opportunity to show you how to do this. So I have a stocking that a customer brought in to me and they want a different name on here. Now, normally on most items, I would um, hoop the item and basically applique over it, um, but the stocking is too tight, so I can't do that. So I'm going to create, I'm going to embroider and create um, an applique that I will take off and then I will sew this on the sewing machine very carefully because it's very narrow, but I think uh, it should do fine. Um, so I'm gonna show you that process let me turn the other machine off. <laughs> and I want to show you this as well. I'm going to trim some threads. But this is a swim a jacket. These are very expensive. If you have anybody that is on a swim team, they're these heavy jackets. But this was somebody that, I don't know if they sold it to somebody else, but it had another last name on it. And then if you can see, I did this applique patch. I'm going to cut that. Um, and put a new name on it. Um, and so we do this all the time. It's a great way to be able to reuse items, you know, like um, sports gear, bags, stuff like that. So for this stocking, what I'm gonna do is I am hooping the, um, this is tearaway stabilizer. So I'm gonna keep this in the hoop. Then I'm going to put a piece of, I've got a scrap of cutaway from another design because my patch is gonna be pretty small. But I want it to have some stability. I want it to be a little bit thicker. I don't want it to be a floppy piece of fabric. And then I'm going to embroider on just some red cotton. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put this in the machine. I'm gonna lay this and my material down. It will do the tack down stitch. I'll trim it and then let it make the patch and then I'll take that out. So I'm gonna go put this on the machine and we'll get started. Okay, so the first thing it did was the tack down stitch, and I'm gonna trim that. Get this trimmed up here, and I'm going to cut the fabric and the cutaway stabilizer that's under it. So the tearaway stabilizer is what is hooped with it. This is, so I'm gonna cut both of them. And when I'm trimming appliques, I will tell you my favorite scissors to use are these double curved. Oops, just drop that. <laughs> so you can see I've cut that really close. Use my double curved scissors. And now we're gonna go pop it back on the machine. Show you what it's doing right now. 
So we're going to put out our design and then we will um, be able to tear it off the tear away table ladder and sew it on its back. show you um, the finished product and how I'm going to sew it on to the stocking. Okay. Okay, so we have our patch done. I'm going to take it out of this. So I have embroidered this on a piece of tearaway. And now I'm just going to rip it out of here. And you can really do this for anything if you want to patch it. And I, like I said, I used a piece of cutaway underneath it so it's not, you know, flimsy like just a piece of fabric. And now what I will do is I'll take it over to the sewing machine and sew this right over this other name and no one will know the difference. So that is how I would do it. So normally, just like that jacket I had before, I would actually hoop the item and then you know do this whole process in the machine. But like I said, this um, the stocking is too narrow to be able to cut around and all that stuff. So this is how you create a patch and then cover names or whatever you want to do or create something fun. Um, that's just how I do it. So I hope that helps. And then I'm just going to straight stitch the patch on. You could do a zigzag; it's totally up to you. But um, but that's how you create a patch and cover old names on whatever item you need to do. So now, um, let's see, Emerald is now Kimberly, and they can still use the stocky. Maybe it matches everybody else's or something like that, um, but you can still use your items. So I hope that has been helpful, and hope you have fun making it.